Hey guys and welcome back to the channel and Premier League football is finally back. This is my match preview of Wolverhampton Wanderers versus Southampton which also happens to be Wolves 100th game at home in the Premier League. <laughs> So guys, how are you feeling? We've missed the football. Okay, we've had the England games and stuff and all that's gone with that. But, you know, our club football is back. It's Premier League and it's a Saturday and it's a three o'clock fixture on a Saturday. Wow. Actually, make the most of this because it's going to be the uh, only Saturday three o'clock fixture that we're going to have for 85 days following this. So it is Wolves against Southampton and um, we're going to look at some match facts and stats team news, prediction, and as always, make sure that you smash a like, leave your comments, leave your predictions and first goal score. If you do get it right, you always get that chance of a shout out on an upcoming vlog and uh, leave your comments down in the comments box below. So look, actually onto the game itself. Wolves have actually won four out of the last five meetings in all competitions against Southampton. However, We've only won one out of the last ten top flight games against Southampton and that was a 2-0 win in September of 2018. On to some Wolves stats and facts. So if Wolves win the game against Southampton, it will be the first time we've won three consecutive Premier League fixtures. And if also, if Wolves manage to shut Southampton out to zero obviously it will also be the first time in the top flight that we have had three consecutive games without conceding a goal as I say in the top flight since 1981 so let's hope that we win to zero and then we've got three new records for Nuno. Wolves have also at home we've had a, a pretty decent record recently in the Premier League we've only lost one out of our last 12 uh, fixtures winning seven and drawing four and interestingly enough as you know the start of last season Nuno went with the first nine games of the season with a completely unchanged starting lineup seven out of our first eight Premier League fixtures this year has been a completely different starting lineup obviously that's almost had to be done because of the Europa League um, fixtures and all the other games that we've had to play. And it's going to be quite interesting to see what the team is going to be. I'm going to come on to that for you in a little while. Let's now look at some Southampton Saints stats and facts. So Southampton haven't had the best record of of late in the Premier League. They've in fact only won two out of their last 13 Premier League fixtures and if they lose the Wolves in this particular fixture it will be four consecutive losses on the bounce which will be the first time that that's happened to them since April 2018. Actually some more interesting stats around uh, Southampton is the fact that they've got eight points at the moment on the board um, but six of their eight points have come away from home and that's at 86 percent uh rate which is the highest in the league also at the start of this season they've, they've actually had four clean sheets away from home in the whole of last season 23 games they managed six so their manager has also been saying in his pre-match talk that they need to be working on their defense they haven't had that many people away um, apparently on international duty and it's been something that they've been working very hard so we expect Southampton to try and go in my opinion for a very very defensive way stopping Wolves going forward we know that Wolves have often struggled to break teams down that come and sit uh, with a lot of players behind the ball uh, Wolves employed that very very successfully against Manchester City in the last game shutting them out frustrating them and then hitting on the break and um, in my opinion, you know, Wolves have got to. So I mean, we've had great that that fantastic period that that I've started off. In my opinion, with the uh, the last minute goal against Crystal Palace when we're down to ten men, psychologically it changed your mental attitude. That was a big boost. Got through against Reading with obviously 
a much changed team on penalties, psychological boost nevertheless. Uh, getting that game at win against Watford, we didn't play that well against Watford, but we still managed to find a way to win the game, which was good. Uh, away at Besiktas, again, we didn't, it was a great experience, but we wasn't that fantastic in terms of performance but we did come strong towards the last 20 minutes um, and look the team most likely and obviously another added time new no time last kick of the, the ball goal from uh, who was the hero on that night Willy Bolly and then the magnificent away performance following that against City with Adama Traore finally fulfilling that potential that we've all seen in him scoring two goals and another last kick of the match uh, breakaway goal to finish it off and our, our attitude going into that was so much positive but all that's great but now the real test acid test comes now in my opinion is it's great beating City away fantastic but then you have to beat Southampton at home and if we can do that I think we can see that we've stepped up that extra level because though that's kind of the games where we've all had this expectation and then we've not performed and not been able to do it. So the the thing is, how will he go? Danny Ings is going to be key, I think, for Southampton. You know, he could score in four successive games um, that he's played for Southampton if he does do that. So we've got to keep him quiet for sure because he is a danger man. And they have got a lot of da dangerous forward players. But I do think they're going to sit and try and frustrate us. And their priority is to get there get back on the road and if they can get a win out of this or, or a draw I don't think it would be a bad result for Southampton in their situation but for Wolves it's got to be a win we've got to win the game and so the formation is going to be key what's he going to go with is he going to go with the 5-3-2 um, or is he going to go with the 3-4-3 three, three? what do you think um, I think playing at home we've got to try and be more on the front foot if Southampton do come and sit back and you know let us try and frustrate us, we've got to be able to have the nerves to um, to break them down. Obviously, injuries and are going to be key. We all know that um, Saez picked up an injury. Morgan Gibbs White didn't go away injured. Jota was injured. Leander Dengonka didn't go away in the end injured. It's fantastic that Raúl Jiménez actually had a break. Uh, you know, although he stayed in England, he did get some time, some downtime with his with his lovely lady, and um, that will do him the world of good. Having some downtime, being able to have a little bit of a break, and hopefully he'll come back refreshed. And hopefully most of the team will be back refreshed. But who's going to start? Nuno, in his press conference, has said that all that some of those players will be involved in some form. Some won't. Which are the ones that will and won't? We don't know. Um, so. I think he may go with the 3-4-3, get on the front foot, try and get at Southampton, try and get something, we, you know, we need to come out, we need to try and break the team down. So, I'm thinking it's going to be Cody Bolly, Bennett, I thought uh, Ryan did incredibly well when he came in at the Man City game with uh, Soyes. I think Bolly had done look quite good changing, which is, I think, his preferred side, and it seems that Nuno has been wanting to play Saïs in that sort of left um, centre-back position. I've never been 100% sure about Saïs in that position, but maybe against the sort of type teams that are not the top six, he can do a job. It's when it comes to that really elite level of striker. So, I don't know, but I'd like to see Bennett. I think he did incredibly well against City. Um, Bolly, Cody... Um, in the middle, there's a, there's a good chance that Dendonka might be fit. Uh, Martinez is going to play. Is he going to play Neves? If he does go with the, the four, um, then it's either going to be one of Neves, Martinez, or, as I say, Dendonka. The wing-backs, I think, will be Johnny Otto and Doherty. And then up front, well, Jimenez is a dead certain. Um, potentially... Uh, Traore and then you've got Pedro Neto and Jota and as I say Catrone 
So it's, uh, you're not really sure because we don't know really the state of the injuries. I would hope that Jota is much fitter. I think he will be involved in some capacity. Pedro Neto, again, similarly. Um, you could see Morgan gives white up in that role as well. It's going to be really interesting to see on the formation he goes for uh, to start the game. And I hope he goes with the front foot because it's, it, we've got to break these teams down. So we've got to be adaptable. Southampton are no mugs. They know the way around. They're going to be very disciplined coming for Wolves. They know what they're going to be doing. They're going to be spending the last two weeks uh, preparing to get a result here. And Wolves have got to really show now that, yeah, we can get these results against Manchester City. Amazing result that it was and all of that that's gone before. We've got to consolidate it by beating Southampton. So I'm going to be positive that we're going to get a shutout and we're going to score three goals and Wolves are going to win 3-0. Leave your score prediction below. First goal scorer for me is going to be Mr. Rahul Jimenez. OK, so until the next time, I'm Dantling Dave. Always Wolves, let's hope we can uh, kick off again with those three points.